Now, in Home Design, we are joined by Hamish, who is here to share some of his knowledge on tackling food waste. Good morning, Hamish. <laughs> good morning. How are we, guys? You're good. Really, really good. well. So, is it a big problem? Well, yeah, it is, actually. I mean, uh, the bigger problem is me getting up so early to get into a 7.30 breakfast, which is not like me normally. <laughs> um, but I went along to listen to um, an environmental engineer called Michael Kellerman um, chat. He's over from the States, and he works with um, councils, uh, and he works with uh, water care companies. Uh, to help solve the problem of uh, food waste, because it, it, it is a huge problem. Well, yeah, okay, so uh, what can we do? I guess you would have learned some things at this breakfast. What can we do? I did, I did. Now, this is, this is the interesting thing. They've drawn one of those upside-down pyramids, you know. We've all know, I love those sorts of charts. The top bit said basically try to stop wasting more food. That was the first thing you could do. Oh, look, Mike, yes, that's like that. An upside-down pyramid. It is, Thanks, an upside-down pyramid. Top thing is try and actually stop wasting food. Second was to repurpose food to humans, so therefore things like city missions and stuff like yeah. that, unsport food, should go on there. They're not going to compete with sales because they weren't buying the food anyway. Yeah. Next step down would be to actually turn it into animal feed of some production, so it was actually feeding something rather than going into the tip. Down from that was actually the mighty waste master, which we'll get to shortly, then composting, then landfill. Oh, wow. okay, so composting is right down there. Composting is right down there, and there, there's a number of reasons for this. Uh, if we take food waste as, uh, as, say we were to say it was a country, it would be the third biggest polluting entity on the planet. Right. Main reason is food waste, when it gets thrown out, rots, creates methane gas, super bad for the environment, okay? If you compost, technically that's what you're doing with it as well. The other thing with composting, of course, is that you've got to do it right. So you need an even matter of green and brown waste to compost. Otherwise, we just have that nice little black thing with the broken lid sitting in the backyard with the lawn mowing clippings over the line. <laughs> Hello, who's had one of those? Everyone's got one I've of those. had one. Yeah. I even bought two because, hey, when the first one filled up, I went, oh, I'm not doing this right. So I bought a second <laughs> one. Problem is, when you chuck brown waste into it, what happens? It brings along the, the nasty little rat. You know, and we, no one likes a rat. It's mm. a terrible creature. Um, of course, we're starting to live in more confined spaces, aren't mm. we? So therefore, it's not always appropriate to have a smelly bin sitting out in your backyard. Are you backyard. sure we get chickens in suburbia? So why well, don't we get bins? Okay. Don't get me started about the urban chicken. Yeah. <laughs> terrible thing, terrible thing. But no, there, there's a lot to think about with it. Right, so, we're, so basically you're saying waste disposal units are a good way to go. Well, this was the interesting thing, because I come from the environment, we, I have a waste master, yeah. but you hear so many different stories about it, is it good or is it bad? Um, Michael's angle is that they're actually, they serve a purpose, because he sees it as a multi-pronged approach to dealing with waste. Now, if you take your waste master and you use it properly, here's the biggest thing, you've got to use it right, okay. water on, waste master on, food down, Waste master off, yeah. water off. We'll see there's a technique there. Potato skin stuffed in, um, waste master on and then water on leads to blockages. There's, right. there's always a problem. So if you use it correctly, there's no issue. It effectively mashes things up to the state of a, 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 a smoothie sort of effect. Something else people always say is, can it go into your sewage systems? Why, yes, it can. Because it's not much different, really, is it, to when we eat food. Um, and, and we process it <laughs> out the other end. The waste master's doing the same thing, and let's face it, most food it sits in about the 80% mark for water. Oh, that's interesting. So where does it go once it leaves my right. thing? Because I thought they were, I didn't think they were good. Well, this is it. Um, uh, an example is in Philadelphia, you're not allowed to build a new house anymore without one. So, wow. Yeah, so that's how big they've become. So it goes into your um, stormwater system or your septic system that's you know running through your city. The uh, catch with this, it's not going to block it because it's smoothie consistency and it's got a high level of water in it. It goes out to your treatment plant, which they're not sewage treatment plants anymore, they're water reclamation plants because the water that comes out the far end of them you can actually drink. Wouldn't, but could, <laughs> technically. Um, and they actually capture the methane gas from the process. That methane gas is then burnt and that generates the electricity to run the plant. So it's kind of a closed circuit. So they're not as bad as you think. Geez, you were listening very intently. I paid this a breakfast. lot of attention. Yeah. Do you want the last things quickly? Yeah. Very, very quickly. But basically, you can put anything you want down them. Um, they have a general rule that if it's got fur, don't put those bones down it. But that's about it. <laughs> your tea bags can go down it. Your coffee grinds can go down it. Your banana peels can go down it. None of them are a problem. The biggest thing people say too is about fats and greases going down them. Yep. Well. People do that even if they don't have a waste master, do they? They pour the, okay. the grease down, wipe it with a handy towel, put it under the sink. Okay, awesome. Hamish, thank you. That was yeah. quite enlightening. Really uh, so thank you very much for that.